That is really awesome because it gives us the power to understand the world around us and the ability to talk more concretely about things that we do know. So Discover Data put together some very reliable statistics nationwide of how we I would describe Discover Data as kind of a step-by-step -step guide for teachers who want to introduce data literacy into their classrooms. Hi, my name is Becky Plotkin, and I'm an instructional facilitator. I teach AP Research, AP Psychology, and Global Studies at Pine Lake Preparatory, which is a K-12 school in Mooresville, North Carolina. I've been in education for about 25 years. So I'm excited to work with you today because I know that you've been looking to put some data and some data literacy yeah. into your history classes. Data literacy is important because our students need to understand topics at a deeper level and they need to be able to evaluate data in order to make their own questions and solve their own problems. What I find fascinating about numbers is they can kind of um, solve non-mathematical problems. I am currently planning on studying computer science where I hope to use numbers to navigate throughout the uh, interdisciplinary field between computer science and biology such as cancer pathology and ways to diagnose certain cancers within cells. You can use Discover Data in any curriculum. I use it in everything from research to psychology to global studies. We realized that we had lots of statistics where people were being diagnosed where the statistics for care didn't align, right? When we were analyzing the data, we were able to see like a lot of people are affected by health equity and aren't able to uh, get what they need to survive. There's a shockingly large number of people that are affected by this. I do feel like most teachers struggle because they want to relate data as a math topic. And math can be scary, but we're really fortunate to have resources that make it applicable in every content area so that the math piece isn't the overwhelming majority. It made things more real to me to see the statistics behind different things and events. So to get started using Discover Data, educators can go straight to the Discover Data website by going to discoverdatainschool.org or if they're a Discovery Education Experience subscriber, they can simply access the Discover Data channel. I would probably point them to the curriculum connectors. Those are the activities that are built out for both beginner and intermediate educators. You can walk in and hand your students the interactives or you can actually dig through and choose just the activities you want to use with your students. One of the most impressive features is the relevance of the topics. So it's anything from social media to elections to environmental factors, and all students can find something that they can connect with. I think you can use data to solve real world problems. Using it to bring attention to like political leaders or people in your life, it helps put into perspective for them just how big a problem this is, and it can be a call to action. Another thing that I love about Discover Data is that it explores diversity, equity, and inclusion for our students. I plan to um, study pre-med, and I feel like I could apply data to help challenge the disparity between people who do have medical access and people who do not. Applying data gives me the power to know these people through the statistics, and maybe one day apply what I do know hypothetically, personally. Don't be afraid of the program. If you're jumping in and you want some support, reach out to the DEN community, reach out to a fellow coach or a teacher that you want to partner up and buddy with. Talk to your students, find out what they want to use, let them explore and teach you for a change.